and welcome everyone to a Scouts of Entertainment Reforged replay. Today we've got a great 4v4 for you on the dry lake bed. Now if you guys do enjoy my content, please remember to hit that like button to support the channel. Subscribe if you're not already. Tick that bell for notifications. Leave your own thoughts about this battle in the comment section below. Now if you guys would like to see me through other Reforged replays like this, or other Total War replays like from Rome 2, Warhammer 2, Rise of Mordor, just to name a few, there are links to spade on your screen, and also in the description below. You can also post me all the Total War replays you want to my Discord at Scouts Reconnaissance. A link to that Discord server is also in the description below. And if you're a YouTuber, there's also a self-promotion area for you guys to post around videos to for the community to enjoy. I also have a PayPal option, subscribe star, Patreon, or stream as donation link in the description below if you'd like to support my work and help grow the channel. I also have YouTube membership options enabled, giving you guys access to custom emojis and badges for you guys to enjoy. And with that, let's get with the replay. So, today's replay comes from Y2K86, who's coming into the Shire Realm, or the Hobbits. He's got some powerful protectors out front. We've got a Gandalf Firework unit over here. We also have some Hobbitry and Arms here, just the one unit. We have some Farmers of Buckland over there. We've got, I think, two more units of Hobbitry and Arms here. We have some Battling Brandy Bucks, two units behind them. We have some Baylins. We've got some more Farmers of Buckland there. Another unit of Hobbitry and Arms. We have the Eagles over here. Just the one unit. And that's what I see there for him. His army looks a little bit small, all things considered. So we'll keep an eye out for any other units. I don't think, although I don't think there are any. Next we have his ally here, Arthur Dane. Came in by the Camping Panda 123. We have some Dunai Mountain Company here. We've also got some Knights of Numinus. We have some Arthur Dane Pike in here. Not armoured up. Two units. We have two units of Evidem Archers. Two units of Arthur Dane Marksman, again not armoured up. It doesn't seem like the Camping Panda opted for any armour upgrades for Arthur Dane today. We have some Dune Nine Scouts here. We've also got some Wardens of the North. Some Arthur Dane Men at Arms. I'll take that back. He half upgraded his Arthur Dane Men at Arms unit here. We have some Evidence Beamen here, two units not armoured. We have some Arthur Dane Men at Arms here, half armoured up, orange upgrade there. And two more units of Evidence Beamen, not armoured up. And moving on to the last of his two allies, the first of which is another Arthur Dane army, came in by Joey One Kenobi. We have some dismounted Forest Aaron Knights in the back here, with some dismounted Knights of Numinus, another unit of Forest Aaron Knights. We have some Arthur Dane Men at Arms here, not armoured. We have some more Arthur Dane Men at Arms. We have Arthur Dane Pikemen here, three units, not armoured. And Arthur Dane Men at Arms here, two units, half armoured. We have some Knights of Numinus here. We have some Arthur Dane Marksmen, two units there. Make that three, actually. No armoured up. We have some Wardens of the North, again. And a fourth unit of Arthur Dane Marksman. That would have cost him a little bit extra to bring a fourth unit, I think. But, um, that's, all, that's some serious firepower there for Joey. And the final ally is Dale. Given by Irenion Gilgalad. Who is a veteran of Reforged. He's got some two units of civilians out front. We have two units of Lake Town Infantry. Light Archer unit and a light melee unit. But pretty good all around. We have some Blackshot Dragon Slayers over here, some Dalian Spearmen here, two units. Lake Town Pikemen, three units there. Some Dalian Bowmen, two units, not armoured. We have some Sword Masters of Esgaroth, not armoured up. We have three units of dismounted Earls of Dale, Dalian Cavalry, and Earls of Dale. And with that, let's go to the first of their four opponents today, which is Mordor, commanded by Tsunami. We have some Moron Archers out front here, two units. We have some Temple Guard over here. We have an Orc Fodder, I think two units there. We have Orc Javelins, two units. Sauron's Will, looks to be two units there. Trying to you guys a close up of the units. I think I was tired, I didn't give you guys close ups before. We've got some Nazgul here, we have some Olag High. We've also got some Adunian Lancers up here, just the one unit it would seem. We have some Temple Executioners, not armoured, and some Uruk Captains. That's good. Oh, and a Troll Catapult as well, my bad. Next we have Rohan, commanded by the Vengeful One, who funnily enough didn't bring too much cavalry on a wide plane battle. We have some Eastmark Spearmen out front, two units I think, actually just the one, yeah just the one. We have some Riddermark Spearmen over here, Riddermark Axemen, Shield Man's Rohan, just the one, some Helm's Hammers, Riddermark Axemen again. We have some Westmark Marshals, two units total here, some Medusal Guard, Elite Javelin and Melee unit. We have some Shieldman's of Rohan again, some Eastmark Spearmen, Javelin unit, some Sons of Earl, we've also got some Rindermark Skirmishers, and behind them, Riders of the Fold, just the one unit. And with that, 
the third opponent. Actually, this is more this is more vengeful ones units, and this is actually more cavalry. Some Ridmark skirmishes and some riders of the fold. Next, we have his ally Gondor, driven by Hidden. We have some Gondor militia infantry here. Some Gondor archers, not armored up at all. Two units there. We have some Gondor cavalry, not armored. Some Gondor infantry armored up all the way though. Gondor spearmen and Gondor infantry, spearmen, infantry, and spearmen all armored up to the max. We have some veterans of Askeliath again armored. The Monty and Honor Guard, Wardens of the White Tower, Citadel Guard here, and more Citadel Guard in the back. So he's deployed his spearmen in the back to protect his rear. It's a pretty smart thing to do. And we can go to the final player today, which is Lindon, coming by Awesome Boss Death. We have some Hound on the Riders here, looks to be three units of them. Some Fallen on Marines, some Fallen on Archers, and Hound on Guard. We have some Wardens of Ellis Tyrion, that's a Ranger unit. We have some Fallen on Marines over here, some Horse Swords of Ulmo, Elite Lancer unit, and Midland Lancers. Over here we have some Hound on Infantry, Fallen on Pikemen, Hith on Swordmasters, Hith on Pikemen, and more Mithon Swordmasters. And that is it, guys, we are finally done here. Let's get this battle started. You enjoy. So the Gandalf fireworks are going to be firing straight away. He's aiming for Lindon, as we've seen. It looks like he's going after the cab. Getting some kills there. Not bad. Not bad at all. And he's driven the cavalry from Awesome back a bit. Yeah, the Knights of Nuance going in for a charge there, but they pulled back. So the army had too much firepower for him, I think. Oh, this could be bad. Good work. Despite being spread out, we've got some more right kills there. I can't pop. It looks like the catapults are trying to go after the Blackshot Dragon Slayers. Getting plenty of kills, even though they're missing most of them. Still getting two isn't bad. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, the players here are closest together. Dale and Mordor are the closest ones together. Inventory is about to engage. Looks like um, either the Moran Archers or Temper Guard are in range. It's been a good opportunity for the AK infantry to fire on the Temple Guard, and they are. And for some reason, the tsunami has left them, left them sorry, in tight formation. And he hasn't spread them out at all. This is one of tsunami's best units, it's a little bit curious that he made that mistake. So, you know, well done to Dale for capitalizing on that. Oh, that could be bad. Being in tight formation does, has, does have, sorry, its advantages. It is harder to hit, but when they do hit, you regret having them in tight formation for sure. There's a nicely clump of troops here. It's easily 8, possibly 12. And see, Joe's making a mistake here. He's putting his troops in loose formation, but he's merging three units together. And you know, I always point that out to you, don't do that. The whole point of loose formation is to spread out your army to minimize casualties from a catapult strike. But by doing this, he's basically, it's essentially just leaving your troops in loose, in tight formation. Because it enables the catapult to get hit on multiple units. Like that clump there could belong to three different pikemen units. And that was just a lucky hit there from the Arthur Lane Marksman. So Mordor's getting some good kills here with that catapult. How are we going over here? Panda's moving up. The fireworks are moving forward. It makes sense for Wine to to target Gondor. Most of his army is in tight formation and spread out over a long way, and we know how much ground the Gandalf fireworks can cover in a blast. And they're firing. So we'll see what they can do here. Who are they going to go after? Honestly, if I was firing, I would go for either this Gondor unit here or this one here, or Gondor's human here. That way the fireworks can more spread out and target multiple troops. 
I'm not really sure who we're going for there. We've got a few, not too many there. I think he'd be disappointed with that. We have Knights of Numas charge into the Riddermark skirmishes. Skirmishes are taking down the Knights of Numas, as you can clearly see. We've lost about six of them. Now the company charged in, but didn't have the answers out. There was actually a poor charge there. What's that? We've got a general close to the front lines here. And you do need Lancer unit. Gamble. Where's the Blackshot Dragon Slayers? Uh, they're right there, but if they tried to fire, I think the Arthur Name Pikes would be in their way. It looks like Mordor's General's in this unit, so the fact that Dale isn't shooting him with his Black Shots, I think is a big mistake. The Black Shots hardly ever miss. Their accuracy is. Holy smokes. Don't tell me. Hopefully that's not Temple Guard firing in there. Temple Guard is shooting. But if they're targeting civilians, it's a big win for Dale. Getting Tsunami to waste such valuable ammunition on such a really crappy unit. That ammo does look like it's armor piercing. And they're shooting on broken civilians. It's a big red, that's a big red flag there, Tsunami. You've got to watch out for that in the future. So right now, four players have hardly engaged at all, they're just sort of doing a few tip for tat exchanges with their cavalry. Bayouins charge forward. The militia, the Bayouins could probably kill easily. Gondor cavalry from Hidden is nearby. Gondor Arts is also nearby. Riddermark, sorry, Riders of the Fold here. I think they still have their bows out. Orc fodder, yeah, okay, so you're ready on He's taking care of the orc fodder. Civilians coming back to the battle. Good for them. Alright. Galleon cavalry charging forward, going after the Mormon archers. Definitely a good idea. Temple guard isn't shooting. Mormon archers still have ammo. Oh, he pulled out just in time. Didn't see the general in this unit, but the star told me, yeah, the general's right there. I think. Lost him again. I swear I saw him. There he is. He's right there. Yeah, Dale could have killed him. Okay, so Dale's moving forward there. It looks like we've got one of the troops up here. We've got Hanlon Riders here. They're trying to lob their arrows up over the air, and who are they trying to hit? We're under attack. They're trying to kill the Bailwins. Getting a few hits there, and they are bringing them down. But they are wasting a bit of ammunition trying to do so. Ah, the Eagles are here! And they pretty much wiped out the Gondor Militia. Whatever you can do to bring in the Eagles quickly, I suppose. Why Eagles? Why? What do you got down there? That's Sons of Earl there. Going after the Wardens of the North from Joey. I don't know, they must be out of ammunition. They're a fairly decent unit. I wonder how the Sons of Earl got to drop them. And Joey's, Joey's answers here could have been firing on the Sons just so running away, but they didn't. Okay. We've got the Orc Javelins nearby. Sauron's will's being sent in. They're literally mowing down the Dalian Spearmen. Here comes the old high. 
He's angry, isn't he? Okay, it looks like the Orc Javelins are targeting the Lake Town Pike Minion. Whatever gets you the kills, I suppose. Okay, looks like we've got some Zelda and River Patrol. Yep, we do. It's a Javelin Fiesta! Peter Mark's Games is also throwing their Javelins. That looks like Ranger Fire, right? Very nice. Temple Guard in the fight. Alright. Dale just lost his right flank here. The patrol better fire the jabbies while they can. They're dropping pretty quickly. Temple Guard is probably the unit to go after. Olaf Hyde trying to bring down the Dalian Cavalry. It looks like we got Rohan trying to back up Tsunami here. Earls of Dale moving in. Trying to bring down... Oh no, they're pulling out. I thought I might be trying to go after the Olaf Hyde myself. The Renion's got to pull back this, this patrol here. They've still got their Javelins. They're down at 51. They're dropping really, really fast. These guys here still have ammo as well, but they're not shooting at the moment. And Tsunami is trying to bring them down quickly before they can use any ammo. They better do something soon. The Duno and Troll says here bringing down the Sauron as well. Kai's moving in. We've got a fresh unit of Lake Town Pikemen and two units of Dismantled Earls of Dale coming in. we also got the Eagles here. And the Troll Catapult crew is coming in. Who's up there? Those are, those are his allies. Seems like the Eagles are coming after the Sauron's will. The troll crew, other. No. He was making the way through them. We got fire ammo there coming around. We have Blackshot Dragon Slayers here, and the troll cable crew, and all our Kai charging into them. The Eagles are definitely needed here. Meanwhile, fire ammunition trying to break up Tsunami's forces. Definitely a worthwhile idea. The Eagles are coming around this way. We've got Arthur and Marksman from Joey One Kenobi here. Ken and Panda also had units over here. Seems like every player knows. Oh, that unit's 77 and it broke. Down is 41 broken. Out of there. But yeah, this is where the main battle it probably is, and whoever wins this will probably win the whole match, I think. Nindo hasn't sent any units over here. It doesn't appear. Eagles got down to 13, so we've lost 7 Eagles so far. Temper Guard outflanking the Piper. This is where the Eagles should be charging in, but they're not. Instead, they're going after the Oak High, you can see. 
Well, they took down two Olog High, three Olog High. There's your captains right there. I thought I meant I was going to try and cut them down. One of the Eagles and guys with Temple Guard. Okay, I think I think I've seen them. Yep, here we go. I took down at least six of them. There's some good JB5 there. Who's that from? East Mark Spearman, no less. Fairly decent charge there from Dowling Cavalry. Thought they were gone. East Mark Spearman trying to bring them down. Eagles, they're down to six. Helms Hammers here from the Venture One. Doing alright, down to 32. We've got Shieldman's Rohan trying to target the Eels of Dale. I think they'll be able to find a good target, I mean, there's plenty of trips here to hit. Yep, in come the Axes. Saw a few go down there. Only half the enemy force remains. Right. They're trying to hit me out. East Mark Spearman. They're targeting the Dune Lane Troll Slayers. Dune Lance is down to six. So now he's in danger of losing his general. Got an eagle there. Friendly fire took out one of the eagles. Air captain's down to ten. Little general still fighting away. This kind of earls here broke. They're out. Seems like Tsunami and Venture One have broken through and taken the battle here on the right flank. Kenny Panda still has a few units back here. But I don't know how much time he has to use his, am his ammo. He's got to start firing in though. Oh, he's shooting at the Temple Guard. We've got Earls of Down here that should be taking down the Union Lancers once and for all. This unit here should be targeting the forces coming their way. We've got Riddermark East, sorry, East Mark Spearman, sorry, and is that Riddermark? No, it's not Riddermark. Shieldman's right on there. Okay. Temple Guard shooting in, trying to bring down. Okay, sorry, Anthony Marks is shooting at Temple Guard. Blackshot Dragon Side is here from Orion, still in the fight. The few engine from Joey. I don't know where he's redeploying to. Mindon, for the most part, is hanging way, way back. He's running around some Mithon Lancers, but that's about it. After that, Pikes probably should be brought over here. And it looks like we've got a fresh unit of Eagles here from YTK, so he had two units after all. Ago. Oh, they're trying to bring down the Nazgul. No, come back, Eagles, come back. Yep, here they come. Do they 
wipe out the whole unit yet? They did. All four Nazgul are in the dirt. And they're getting back up. Temple Execution is still at 38. The Eagles here can probably keep this entire battle contained over here. That wasn't the best charge there for the Eagles. The rise of the Fold from Bench hovering in the distance. I thought it marks him firing in. We're getting some hits. That unit is broken. We've got Blacklock. Not Blacklock. That's Wardens of the North. Black Shock, I was trying to say. Ah, going after the Temple Executioners. If any unit can bring these guys down quickly, sorry. It is the Wardens of the North. I don't know how many Helms Hammers the Venture One has still left. Here are the Eagles. They ran away. They don't like cavalry, it would seem. The ones of the north can bring those guys down more easily than any other unit. He's firing on them with them. Down to 13, these guys. The aren't firing on them anymore. Alright, let's head over here. I'll try and keep an eye on that fight. Meanwhile, neither side's really making too many moves here. We've got some Gondor archers here firing on the Arthur Men at Arms. It seems like Lindon was successful in taking out the Gandalf's fireworks. I wonder if White TK used these all his ammo, sorry, before that happened. And for now, I think we might do a small cut here, guys, and come back once the battle starts again, because right now it seems like we're taking a small break. Eagles flying in. Fighting a huge chunk out of the Gondorian Archers, leaving them at 38. As you can see, they really did a number on them. And they're getting out of there. Looks like, some, looks like we've got um, YTK trying to do some cycle charges here. That was highly effective against Gondorian Spearmen. Calvary's here is down to 10. Maybe a spearman would be in tight formation. Those spears didn't do anything against the Eagles. The Eagles just eating Gondor up. Another successful cycle charge there. Just leaving a trail of corpses. We're under attack. We're under attack. Another Gondorian spear unit here, 118, in loose formation. This is not doing Gondor any favors. Down to 44 was 118 to begin with. Killed 66 in that charge. And he goes down to 16. Killed 58 in that charge. 
Eagle's just chewing Gondor up here. Gondor seemingly had no, no answer for this. Alright, so it looks like Dale and the rest of the Arthurian forces on the right flank have withdrawn straight to White Decay's position. We've got Dalian Bowman here, I don't know if they have any ammo. No, they've got their axes out. We've got Knights of the Nars charging into the Hondon Infantry. Eagles coming in from the other way. Other way, sorry. Now they're getting out of there. Knights of the Nars at 32. Bounce of power 47 to 57. All sorts of Umlo at 32. Kenny Panda moving around his wardens, they still have Emma. What Kenny Panda should have done here is sent up two units of evidence people to hold back the Citadel Guard and Gondor infantry at the top of the hill here while the ones of the north over here could shoot down into the hidden forces. This helped them break a little bit faster. It doesn't matter anymore because these guys are now broken. But had they not broken, the ones could have fired into it. Alright, the cat's battling away here. These guys here still fighting, yep. Yeah? We pull most of them back. Crowd for protectors, I don't know who they're firing at, yeah? but they're loaded up. Some of them have their pikes yet. They're not fighting, they're, out of, they're out, just out of ammunition. And right now they're in the wish formation. Don't get your trips in the top formation when you send them to battle like that. Angle's still circling. Hidden's in a lot of trouble here. Here we go. Citadel Guard are broken now, fighting to the death with 56. This has improved the Eagles are OP, nothing will. You got it's any rangers nearby. The Warns Miss Ethel firing in. Looks like they're trying to target the Sword Masters of Esgaroth. Eagles swooping in, I think. Gonna do a kill a couple there. And the Eagles are down to 12. Going after the Rangers here. Down to 66. Killed 44 there. Hidden should use his wardens to target the Eagles. 53 to 70. So now he's sending over what's left of his men. The 
Now, the tempo execution, sorry, the tempo execution is will do all right here, but I think the hobbits have the numbers to swarm and overwhelm these guys. There's Mordor's general in the background there. Those eagles just won't die. Citadel guard, sorry, Citadel guard broke and is fighting to the death. Powerful protector still in loose formation. The Eagles can bring down the unit bundle of infantry on their own in the background there. It looks like they're cutting back. I think they're going to try and target the veterans of the skill yet. Bondo archers and wardens are nearest ether here. Here we go. Six to seventy six. Just better that's one last moving in. And they killed Hidden's General, taking out a chunk of the, I think it's Wounds of the White Tower. That was Mordor's General there. Killed by the lights of the Numinous. It is 58 to 78. We yeah, haven't seen too much action here from Lindon. They're all shooting over the hill here. Up, up, and away, it would seem. As you can see, most of the arrows are missing. Whatever they're trying to hit, they're just not hitting it. I think most of our final battle will be fought here. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Eventual one though is holding way, way back. For some reason, I'm not sure why. I don't know what the defenders will do. Sorry, not the defenders, but uh, Y2K's alliance. Probably got times two speed this part. Maybe in times six speed. It's just a matter of time before Hidden's forces succumb. We've got nine wards left over here. That's why it hasn't moved very far at all. It's time to press the attack. Nindon's forces are running in. Four swords of Ulmo are here. Maybe the answers I don't know. We've still got ammunition. A good charge there from the horse swords. Eagles going out the benches of men now. Wiping out the shield lanes in one charge. There are none left standing. Medusal guard firing, however. If we continue like this, bringing we'll the eagles down it. very quickly. Down to six. Down to four. Or three. Four. Yeah, four. I think they could be stuck here. It's good news for Vents if we can finish them off. Yep. Vents one finished them off. But it's still 63 to 85 here. Gordon's surrounding Lindon's forces, I think he's got it. It'll just take time.
Uh, we're some YTK's men out. Uh, coming in. Lost half of our men. Yeah, YTK is going straight for Venture One's forces in the background there. He's just swarming in and trying to overwhelm and destroy. Oh, they're broken. They all broke on him. They didn't realize he lost his general. Battling Brainy Backs going after the Helm's Hammers. Only half the enemy force remains. Very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. We're down the two Helms Hammers there. The rest, the rest, sorry, of YTK's forces are not breaking. But powerful protectors in the fight. Okay, YTK has won this battle for sure now. And with that, I think Joe One Kenobi can send his entire battle line here to try and finish off Lindon's forces here. He's already got some in here with the Camping Panda. And Dal has surrounded and cut off Orson's retreat. I think that's it for that one, huh? We've got some Holland Guard. Being cut down. If I'm piping fine to the death. Harlan Riders chasing around here. Hey, is that Harlan Riders over there? It would seem so. Riders of the Fold also running around. Oh, uh, this one is General here. Has abandoned his army. He's run away. He's, he's the last member left of Rohan. Still alive. Can't see that. You don't see that every day. And right now it's just a game of cat and mouse trying to bring down the last Harlem Rider unit. And congratulations to Y2K86 and his team. Y2K getting 2,246 kills there. Keeping Panda 133, 1438. Joe 1 Kenobi 656. Already on Gil Galad here, 1549. Tsunami 2094. The Venture 1, 1572. And hidden on 896. Awesome boss death, 1597. And we'll go to the kill count here for Y2K 86. Powerful protectors here, 276. The Great Eagles, 435. And a whopping 908 kills there. One of the highest we've ever seen. I think we did see one time one unit getting over a thousand kills there. But still, 908 is definitely one for the books. Farmers of Buckland, range from 38 to 44. Hobbitry and Arms here range from 17 to 110, and those were the best performing units there. So, I'm lucky that the Gamba Fireworks 2 only getting 68, but most of the units range from good to unbelievable. So well done to Y2K's army there. Once and for all proven the Eagles are definitely OP, maybe should be toned down a little bit. But you know, we'll see what happens. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Thank you to Y2K86 for sending in the replay. This is Scouts of Entertainment signing off. Catch you guys in the next one.